my dear students i hope you all are well by the grace of the almighty in the previous class we learned about pronoun part 1 now we are going to learn about pronoun part 2 and in this part we will discuss about reciprocal pronoun reflexive pronoun and emphatic pronoun what is reciprocal pronoun reciprocal means involving two people agree to help each other or behave Reciprocal means involving two people or groups who agree to help each other or behave in the same way to each other. Now, look at the following sentence. they quarrel with each other this is the first sentence and next next sentence they quarrel with each other they help for another here we find that this action happens between two people here more than two people each other and one another these two these are called reciprocal pronouns these two pronouns indicate that indicate the mutual action so the pronoun
which is used to refer to mutual action is called reciprocal pronoun the pronoun which is used to refer to mutual action is called reciprocal pronoun that is reciprocal pronoun referred to the people who do the same thing who feel the same way or we have in the same manner these are called reciprocal reciprocal pronouns each other we use each other to uh, to refer to two people but we use one another among more than two people between two but one another among more than two this is about reciprocal pronoun now we will we'll learn about reflexive reflexive pronoun and emphatic pronoun what is reflexive pronoun we will now discuss about this first we have to know singular plural self plural of self is selves singular pronoun plus self that is self is added to singular personal pronoun for example my plus self my self him himself herself he 
क्यूज केंगुलर प्लस सेल सॉरी यो योर सेल एट प्लस सेल इट सेल दैट इज सेल इज ऑलवेज एडेड टू सिंगुलर पर्सनल प्रोनाउन हेयर माई पॉसेसिव केस बट हिम ऑब्जेक्टिव हर possessive your possessive etc that is singular self is added to the possessive case or objective case of singular personal pronoun now Selves is added to plural personal pronouns in the same way. Our plus selves, our selves. them plus selves themselves here plural plus selves equal to yourselves That is our selves. Selves is that is added to the plural personal pronoun, and thus these words are formed. Now. Carefully observe. Hashan killed himself. What can do? We, what can we find in the sentence? This is bar. Hashan is. subject this is object self is added to him and himself this is formed and this becomes object of the verb k Hashan here is the subject of the verb ki, and himself is the object. Here we find that Hashan did the killing that. That is Hashan killed. That is Hashan did the killing. And who did it? Who did Hashan kill? Himself. That is the person who was killed.
was Hashan. Thus, we find here that the person who killed was Hashan and the person who was killed was also Hashan. That is, the same person did the killing and the same person was killed. That is subject and object here indicates the same person. Subject, Hashan and object himself in fact indicates the same person. So, we can add in this case himself which is formed by adding self to it becomes the object of the verb kill and indicates the subject Hasha. This is called reflexive pronoun. Here himself is the reflexive pronoun. So we can now define reflexive pronoun. That is, we have now learned that self is added to singular personal pronoun and selves added to plural personal pronoun. Okay, now define reflexive pronoun in the following way. The pronoun which is formed by having cell or cells to the objective case or possessive case of personal pronoun When the pronoun which is formed by adding self or selves to the objective case or positive case of the personal pronoun becomes the object of the verb and indicates the subject at the same time that is the subject and the object refer to the same person or thing. It that is that pronoun.
is called reflexive pronoun. When the pronoun which is formed by adding self or selves to the objective case or possessive case or personal pronoun becomes the object of the verb and indicate the subject at the same time. That is the subject and the object referred to the same person or thing, it is called reflexive pronoun. I think you all have now understood what is reflexive pronoun. Again I repeat, the pronoun which is formed by adding self or selves to the objective case or passive case of the personal pronoun becomes the subject, I want sorry, object of the verb and indicates the subject at the same time, that is the subject and the object refer to the same person, is called, they, it is called a reflexive pronoun. Now we will come to the another point, another thing, emphatic pronoun. Now, we have already learned that the pronoun formed by, formed with self or selves are, the pronouns formed with self or selves are reflexive pronouns. But now, you will carefully see that this may be also emphatic pronoun. I did the work myself. Here we find two sentences. In the first sentence, we see I myself did the work. I did the work myself. Myself. This, this is, is it here reflexive pronoun? No. Here it is emphatic pronoun. Why? This pronoun myself is not the object of the verb did. Here the, the word, this is object. But why? Then it is used here, in fact, it is used here to give emphasis about on the subject and I myself did the work. The emphasis is given on subject I. So this is used for giving emphasis. So here this is emphatic pronoun. In the same way, I did the work myself. Myself also gives emphasis on subject I. So this is also called emphatic pronoun. Two positions here. Emphatic pronoun myself in the first sentence is placed after subject, immediately after subject, but in the second sentence, this is placed after the object. Both is possible, but I think in the first position is better.
again in fact in fact i am just in emphatic pronouns is placed after the noun or pronoun to one which is gives emphasis but they talk to the chairman himself himself here this also gives emphasis but one who is they or chairman who is himself here gives emphasis on the object chairman not subject in this way when this gives emphasis to another sub noun or pronoun except subject then this is placed immediately after that noun or pronoun so here this is called emphatic pronoun the pronoun who is the pronoun who is give who is is placed after the noun or pronoun one who is is gives he gives emphasis he is called emphatic pronoun okay this is all about reciprocal pronoun reflexive pronoun emphatic pronoun here is the end in the next class we we learn about relative pronoun and that is the last one with the best of one of you